And welcome back to New Hampshire's Class of 2020 celebrating our seniors. And a look at more of the graduates from over 60 Granite State High Schools who are joining us tonight. And throughout the hour, we're also scrolling messages of congratulations from proud families for their seniors. Our next student speaker demonstrates the qualities of a proud valedictorian, respect, responsibility, integrity, and a true love of learning. Representing the Monadnock region of our state, here is Gabrielle Clemma from Fall Mountain Regional High School in Langdon. New Hampshire class of 2020, there is much that I want to say to you. I understand that these times, which should be filled with celebration, are far more challenging than anyone anticipated. Even waking up to face the day-to-day -day struggles of life has a quality to it that is beyond surreal, and I know, as you all do, that there is little to remedy the loss that all of us feel. However, it must be acknowledged that every crisis brings far greater ones. The very fact that our education was cut short and replaced with a whole new way of living is testament to a difficult reality, that the world we are entering as young adults is filled with chaos and tragedy. We are in a precise moment in which it is clear that the world cannot go on as it has. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted numerous failures of our political system, namely its inability to protect, not only to protect its citizens, but to prioritize them over corporate greed. Moreover, decades of systemic racism and injustices perpetrated against black people have reached the point where their effects are tangible across the nation. We owe it to those who have been lost to police brutality to stand up and fight. As overwhelming as the present times may be, we have the responsibility to use our voices for change. We are uniquely situated to, be, to demand not normalcy, but progress. Progress for the United States and progress for the planet. And so, Class of 2020, I ask that you consider the world and consider yourself. More so than any other generation, we have the wherewithal and the urgency to make an impact. If this sounds cliche, like any other graduation speech telling you to go change the world, think of it not in terms of what we can do, because of how young and bright and special we all are, but of what we have to do, because there is no other choice. My sincerest wish of fulfillment I send to all of you, graduates of my own school, Fall Mountain, and all of New Hampshire. Thank you. Your parents and teachers have probably told you countless times over the years that hard work pays off. Well, you should know that by now, as you close one chapter of your life and prepare to open the next one, and passions will help you go far in life. Former American Idol contestant and Granite State native Alex Preston might know a thing or two about that. Hey, what's going on, Class of 2020? It's Alex Preston here, uh, my office in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I just want to say congratulations on all of your accomplishments. You should be so proud. Uh, I know it's a bummer that there's no graduation ceremonies this year, but uh, just stay strong and uh, keep looking towards the future, and uh, best of luck to you in the future. Um, this is an original song called uh, Listen to Each Other, and I hope you like it. Just what to say As I never will And I try to fill Every space in my own different way Cause in the morning love We'll be morning love in our own separate way with catastrophe, we're the last to see if it's ever gonna change. So when is a good time to talk about all of the bad times we weathered out? It's easier to find opinions inside then listen to each other and when it's not black or white 
It's not left or right. Why do we take a side? And is there a space to meet face to face? And what would we see from an eye to an eye? Cause in the morning love will be morning love in our own separate ways With catastrophe we're the last to see if it's ever gonna change So when is a good time to talk about all of the It's easier to find opinions inside than listen to each other. In the morning love We'll be morning love In our own separate ways With catastrophe We're the last to see If it's ever gonna change So when is a good time To talk about All of the bad times We weathered out it's easier to find opinions inside than listen to each other. Thank you. See you guys soon. Now, between school work, National Honor Society, sports, and everything in between, our next student speaker has made his community and the state proud both on the basketball court and off. Representing the North Country is Josh Wheelock of Groveton High. Growing up in a small town in northern New Hampshire has had many benefits. Attending Groveton High School and being both a scholar and an athlete has made me appreciate the value of hard work. As this part of our lives comes to an end, I would like to take a moment to congratulate all of the graduates across the state of New Hampshire. These last four years of high school have prepared us to enter the real world as productive members of society. High school is where a person begins to prepare and learn skills that will help in real life. And although these last few months have not been what anyone wanted or expected, they have taught us how to persevere and work hard. As we all enter this next chapter of our lives, I implore all of my fellow graduates to remember these lessons we have learned in both the last few months and four years of high school and wish them luck in the real world. It's been tough missing out on senior trips, senior weeks, senior proms. Tonight, Aaron Falo shows us how some communities are going above and beyond to celebrate the class of 2020. N38. Bingo! <laughs> Welcome to Senior Night. Every Thursday, Moultonboro Academy's principal moonlights as a game show host for trivia and scavenger hunts. How about some tape? Ooh. This is like... Sparking. Got some. We were concerned about them being isolated, disconnected from school, but also from each other. Fridays, volunteers drop off gifts to the town seniors. <laughs> Cap and gown pickup was a drive through celebration. There were teachers lined up on the sidewalks with signs, and I'm pretty sure I saw like every teacher that I've ever had and so that was really cool because I wasn't expecting that and then they gave us a whole pizza which is like awesome. <laughs> In Dover, one mom started an Adopt a Senior Facebook page. It's been tough and some of these kids aren't going on to college so they're actually, you know, it's this is it. Dover High's Class of 2020 showered with gifts. I'm going into elementary education and so I received like a kid's book to read to my future class. Michael Parks was adopted by an old hockey coach. I didn't know anything about it until uh, pizza and uh, chicken tenders showed up 
uh, from Domino's on my doorstep. It was like a really nice surprise. Even with proms canceled, they donned their dresses in Bedford and social distanced. In Amherst, friends held a pop-up prom in a parking lot. And we all got ready together on Zoom just like we would have normally. It was dads to the rescue in Newport and Bo. Ah! Yes! Yay! Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. So I said, well, what if I ask her to the prom? And then I thought, well, what if she says no? That would be really bad. <laughs> my dress was sitting on my bed and there was like that picture frame. And I was like, really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and to be able to get the first dance was really cool too. Best prom date I ever had. So uh, it was really wonderful. We danced a little bit. We tried to dance. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we both realized we, we each have two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> These grads are grateful to those who've made them feel special these past few months. And while it hasn't been the senior year they imagined, they realize that they will have a very unique story to tell. Erin Falo, WMUR News 9. When the pandemic hit, the class of 2020 jumped into action to help those who needed it. How they made a big difference in others' lives. And you know him from Dancing with the Stars and America's Funniest Videos. Coming up, Tom Bergeron joins us from sunny California with why he thinks this year's seniors have a strong, bright future.